Hello, Bart. Dobar dan. Bart, it's not a secret that uh, coaches are usually ex-players. Uh, please tell us a, a little bit about your football career. I played the game since I was uh, five or six years old. I started playing uh, football in my hometown uh, in Belgium. And after when I was uh, 14 years old, I went to third division in the youth academy in, uh, in Belgium. I played there for, uh, for four or five years. And when I was 18, I had to uh, choose or uh, studying at university or uh, something else. And uh, then I got my master in uh, physical education uh, and movement sciences. So uh, I played when I was until my uh, 22, 23. And uh, then I had to uh, make another choice or to continue playing football at a lower level um, or to go in uh, professional football as an uh, assistant and fitness coach. But working as a coach uh, when you was quite young and now there are some players on our team who are older than you. Uh, do you have some problems maybe with communication, with distance uh, or maybe it give you some opportunities? When I was 22, after uh, my master, I uh, became uh, a youth coach in, uh, in Genk. And then I was 26 years old when the time that uh, Genk and, uh, and Frank Verkouter invited me to become the new fitness coach of the first team. So when I started, I was only uh, 26. Now I'm 30 years old and uh, some players indeed in the team, they are uh, older than me. It doesn't give uh, any problems for me as long as you keep enough distance, I think, between uh, professional and, uh, and others uh, and that you just do, uh, do your job. I'm here to, to help the players and uh, to be and to work for the players and to work for the, for the team. And it's always easier when you are the same age, 25, 30 years old, to jog or to... Uh, but when you're on the pitch, you are here for the same, uh, the same goals. To become a fitness coach, you need a lot of uh, specific knowledge. Uh, how did you get it? Uh, what uh, maybe a specific education you have? And uh, how to get uh, this knowledge if uh, somebody wants to become? Yeah. I think there are two differences. You have uh, fitness coaches in football without a football background, and you have fitness coaches in football with a be uh, football background. So um, I prefer the second option that you are a fitness coach in a sport particularly here in, uh, in football, and that you have the, the knowledge of the, of the game. Before, you, have, uh, you need general education, like a, a master in uh, physical education, movement sciences, or physiotherapy, rehabilitation sciences. That's, uh, that's a starting point. And after, you have to develop as a, as a fitness coach in, uh, in football. So, uh, from uh, 22, 23 years old, I. Uh, travel around the world to meet the best coaches, to meet uh, the best experts, to go to courses in Belgium abroad and uh, all the time I'm, uh, I'm traveling and, uh, and learning. So uh, I try to be a lifelong student of the, of the game. You work with players not only in the pitch but uh, in the gym too. Uh, how much time they should uh, spare in the gym, uh, you think, uh, uh, what job they do? Uh, in the gym, uh, what's specific of this job? Everything you do outside of the pitch, uh, like for example in the gym, has to be related with, uh, with the game, with football and with the player. So um, you have a lot of things what we, uh, what we do in the, in the gym. So uh, it's part like injury prevention, it's uh, uh, preparation of pre-activation for, uh, for training sessions, it's uh, football power training, uh, so there are a lot of things outside of the pitch what we uh, what we do with the players to uh, to become better and uh, to become stronger and, uh, and faster players and to become a better football player. Player is uh, maybe uh, much more because uh, the best football players in the world normally they have a good fitness and they have a good freshness and they have a good control of the body and uh, they are also uh, very good in all other things related with uh, with the game. With uh, sometimes less talented players have to work uh, maybe even more and even better uh, to work even more in the gym to compensate uh, maybe some uh, things what they uh, lag on the pitch or in football uh, related situations. So, uh, but in general, the more and the better uh, you can spend time in the gym related with the training, related with the game, related with your own body, specific and individualized, um, the better. Some players are like oak. Oh, they are 
uh, rock of muscles. Uh, some players uh, like uh, William, very fit and very light. Uh, what uh, players uh, do you prefer to work uh, with? Uh, maybe what's better? It depends on the playing style of the team. It depends also on the, the players you have in, uh, in your team. But uh, in modern football, the day of today, you have to be tall, you have to be strong, you have to be fast, you have to uh, play the game. So uh, you need today uh, fast players, strong players, tall players, uh, technique. So uh, it's a combination of, of all those uh, things. But uh, from a slow player, you cannot make a very fast player. And from a small player, you cannot make a, a tall player. So individualized for each player, you have to, uh, to reach the highest goals and uh, to go on in the, in the process to become better in, uh, at the end of the day as a football player. Can you measure the fitness of our team today? Should we wait uh, from our guys uh, first growing up? We do uh, some uh, measurements uh, in fitness and other things, like today in the training session with a sub-maximal uh, test to, uh, to test the players. But most of the times, uh, the results of a fitness test they just confirm what you see as a football coach in, uh, on the pitch. So uh, the results of a, of a fitness test most of the time tell you that a player is not able to continue for 90 minutes or that a player is not explosive or that a player has maybe problems to start at a high tempo in the beginning of the game. But uh, even without uh, tests, you, uh, the best coaches can detect and can see uh, these kind of things. But, uh, each test you do uh, gives you nice and uh, nice information, but uh, the question always is: What do you do with uh, all this information? So uh, I prefer only to test things uh, first, what is related with uh, with football fitness, and second, where you can use the results as a starting point to uh, input in the in the training process. We are in the process and uh, I think you just have to have the goal to be the best player and the fittest player and the fittest team uh, to become the strongest. But uh, there is a difference. It's very easy to become the fittest or the fittest team, but uh, it's more difficult to maintain the fitness of the team and the players until the last game of the, of the season. So um, you can see in the process what we're busy. We played five games. Um, the most important is that uh, the coach was able in the five games to select the best players for, uh, for the game because everybody was, uh, was fit and injury free, except Dragoon, who had a contact injury in the first game. And all the other games, all our uh, players were, uh, were ready to, uh, to play. So um, that's important that the coach is uh, able every game in the season to play the games with the best uh, players or with the players you want to select. Is it much difference between methods uh, coaches use in Russia and uh, methods of training uh, you use in Belgium? I don't think it's a difference between countries like in Belgium or in Russia. I think uh, there is the difference is or you start with the game as a starting point and then you uh, start building up the, the training process or you start maybe with uh, general terms like fitness uh, to become uh, fitter or to become uh, a fitter team and then you have to hope that you always also become a better football player or a better uh, team what is playing the, the playing style. So um, as long as you use the game as a starting point to develop the, the training process and the playing style then uh, there is no, uh, no difference because the game if you play the game in Belgium or in Russia or in the States or uh, doesn't matter where in the world is always 11 against 11 with one ball and which team uh, scored the most goal win, uh, win the game. It's the same for men and women, it's the same uh, for uh, the highest level as amateur level. It's, uh, it's the same game, so the game is always the starting point to, uh, to build up and to uh, develop the training process. As far as I know, you are active user of computer, of internet. Uh, what sites are on your top and uh, maybe uh, there is websites for your job? Yeah, first of all, as a fitness coach, you are working a lot of time be, uh, with the computer because you have to develop like periodization model and uh, fitness programs and individual programs. So uh, 
Sometimes you spend more work at the, working at the computer than working with the players on the pitch. Uh, and yes, of course, I use uh, the, the internet and, uh, and a lot of things. I'm interested in, uh, in a lot of things related with sports and with, uh, with management and uh, with things like this. Because uh, all aspects you can uh, use to become a better uh, person, a better coach, a better fitness coach. So in everything what you do. Uh. Uh, do you keep attention at club website or social uh, networks? The club website every day because uh, it's a very nice website what we have as in English and uh, in Russian with uh, every day I think there are like three, four, five, six updates about the training, the games, videos, photos, um, information, players, the youth, the academy, the veterans. So uh, it's very uh, up to date uh, website. So. Uh, I support that everybody uh, who is interested in Akrilia that they follow the website and uh, because it's the most information is, uh, is over there. Um, and then also like the, the social networks, the day of today uh, is important. I think you use it in the, in the right way and uh, you can share sometimes some, uh, some information and you are very easy in contact with, uh, with other colleagues, with other specialists, with other experts and also the people in Belgium, friends or family. It's an easy way to, uh, to be in contact with them and uh, to have like a, every day like a small conversation. Yeah, like, like on the Twitter, everybody can, uh, can connect with you. Um, and it, it's, uh, it's nice to, uh, to, um, to give some information about the games, the results, um, life here in Samara, because the people in Belgium always ask me, how is life? Uh, it's summer or it's winter there, uh, it's a nice place. Where do you live, uh, the Baza, how it's looking, the pitches, the players, uh, the assistant coaches. So if you can share some information, some pictures, it's, uh, it's nice to be for me, for, for us uh, to be up to date, but also for uh, the other people, colleagues, friends, family uh, to, uh, to be up to date. Uh, where do you live in Samara? Here or maybe already rent a flat? Uh, what places maybe you already visit in our city? How do you spend your spare time? Most of the time I'm here in the Baza, I'm living here in the Baza, I'm happy here. Uh, everything is here available to have a uh, to have normal life. Uh, the food is, uh, is nice, the people around, is, uh, everybody is friendly. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of movement here always, every day. So uh, that's, uh, that's okay. And uh, if we have some free time, we go out for the dinner with the coaches. Most of the times uh, we are together and uh, also uh, some family was uh, already here in Samara and then we visited some, uh, some places. So uh, we went uh, one time here in the park to the beach. Uh, we passed a lot of times the, the brewery. Um, so a lot of places, the restaurants we went. So uh, it's a nice place, especially, uh, especially because now it's, it's summer, uh, it's nice weather. So uh, for a walk, for a restaurant, to sit on the terrace, nice view. Uh, it's, uh, it's a nice place. Thank you very much. Uh, wish you good luck in your job. Thank you very much.